Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, guys, I'm working on the ROG Strix G Series Gamer, uh, the exact model G531GT. I'm going to show you how to get inside and access your speakers. So first thing, guys, power down the computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're going to then flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now, this model has quite a lot of screws. You get these four up top, these three in the middle, these four down bottom. And then when you're done removing those screws, take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool as it's going to scratch your case less than a metal pry tool. Uh, go around the seam of this bottom case a little at a time. Don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage components. So go nice and easy all the way around. Pry that bottom case off. And when you get the bottom case loose, don't just rip it off. If you notice, there's two ribbon cables, one here and one here, that connect the bottom case to the motherboard. Um, these clips are very tricky and they're very fragile. I'll play a clip right now showing you how to manage ribbon cable connectors like this. Okay, so to take a ribbon cable out of this kind of connector, first you have your ribbon cable here, you have the port on the motherboard, and then you have this retainer clip over here. This clip opens and shuts like a book cover. It opens from this side and the hinges are on this side. So in order to get that up, be very careful. Take a small flat pry tool, slide it underneath and pop it up like that. And then the ribbon cable can come out. After taking the ribbon cable out, I like to put it back down for safekeeping so it doesn't get caught on anything and rip. These are very, very breakable, these retainer clips. And if you break it, you're most likely not going to be able to find a replacement, um, in which case your ribbon cable won't be able to uh, secure down anymore. So be very careful. To get the retainer clip back in, you would pop it up again very carefully. You would slide the ribbon cable in nice and flush. It may take a few times if you're not used to it getting it flush and then just snap the retainer clip down and that's how you would operate that kind of clip. Okay, so after your bottom case is removed, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. As a rule, guys, before I touch anything in a laptop, I always either remove or at least unplug the battery to make it safer to work on. We want as little power running through the components as possible. So to remove it, if you want to remove it, you would undo these four screws. And this battery cable right there, it, it's a two-part clip. You're going to take a small flat pry tool and push that top part up towards the fan, and that releases the main battery clip. Then you can take that and just snap it up, directly up and out of the computer. That's how you would unplug your battery. So if you've unplugged it or removed it, uh, then we can proceed deeper. This is your speaker here, and these wires go through here under this to your left hand speaker there. They're not held down by screws. You can just take those off and it unplugs from the motherboard right there. So that's how you would access your speakers. That's how you would access the inside of the, of the computer. If you're looking for replacement parts, guys, there'll be a link above also below in the description. It'll give you a list of all the tools and supplies that I use to enter my computers, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer will be in that link. So I hope this helped you out. Uh, also, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs down bottom in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you do need to leave me a question, I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.